As humanity continues to develop new technologies, we bring ourselves closer and closer to a world that could one day resemble the futuristic society of Star Trek. But, in order for us to reach this level of technological advancement, we first have to burn through resources. After all, in order to build the technologies of the future, new materials must be developed, and those materials will require raw resources from the Earth. Or will they? Surely by now, you have heard of companies who have their sights set on space for mining materials. Companies like Planetary Resources recognize that an abundance of materials that can be used for manufacturing, fuel sources, and even sustaining human life on and off Earth can be found in space. But there are other resources we could harness from space too. Perhaps the most obvious is solar energy. This may sound strange at first. After all, why and how would we harness solar energy from space when we can simply wait until the light hits us here on Earth? The answer is actually pretty simple. If we were to harness solar energy using satellites in space, we wouldn't have to worry about the limiting factors we face here on Earth. Take clouds, for example. They're an unavoidable obstacle that light from the sun must pass through before it reaches solar panels. While you may appreciate the shade of the clouds on a hot, sunny day, it can actually reduce solar panels' effectiveness by nearly 66%. Even on a clear day, the Earth's atmosphere still acts as a filter of sorts, reflecting and absorbing some of the light from the sun and reducing the amount of energy that reaches the solar panels. By placing the solar panels in space, we essentially bypass the atmosphere, thus maximizing the energy we are able to harvest. The proposed designs of these satellites certainly look like sci-fi technology of the future. For starters, they are massive. Some designs feature satellites longer than 3 kilometers in length and weighing more than 80,000 metric tons. In an effort to find alternative means of clean energy after the Fukushima disaster, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, proposed a radically innovative solution. In their plan, a series of giant satellites orbiting the Earth will use mirrors to direct sunlight to photovoltaic cells. The energy will be converted into microwaves and beamed down to a man-made island, which is covered with billions of antennas that convert the microwave energy into DC electricity. Every space-based solar energy plan follows this general idea. Harvest energy in space, beam it to Earth, and convert it to usable electricity. Despite the futuristic designs involved in these plans, the idea isn't a new one. In fact, aerospace engineer Peter Glazer proposed the idea of space-based solar energy back in the 1960s. So why hasn't it been done yet? For starters, it's incredibly expensive. Rocket launches aren't cheap, especially when you're talking about launching satellites that are several times bigger than the International Space Station. Then, you have to consider the ground costs. Creating the plants that will collect the energy from space and convert it to usable electricity could cost upwards to a trillion dollars. As you can probably imagine, that's a tough selling point when you're trying to get into politicians to pursue a project of this scale. You also have to consider the conversion process itself. Essentially, the method relies on a double conversion. The light is converted into microwaves, and the microwaves are later converted into electricity. This process isn't perfect, and some energy will be lost along the way. Optimizing the system would take some time, and could potentially cost a lot of money. Of course, the solar farms we have now aren't perfect, but technological advancements have led to incredible improvements in the efficiency of photovoltaic cells, as well as efficiencies in the transportation and storage of energy. These concerns have created critics out of even the biggest futurists among us, including Elon Musk. However, as launch costs decrease thanks to innovative rocket technologies, and as our energy storage and transfer techniques become more refined, the practicality of space-based solar energy may increase, and the decades-old idea may just see its time in the spotlight. <laughs>